Right. So basically, say like, uh, I think already you are familiar with me. Like, uh, yeah, this is uh, Dr. Karim, like having a uh, yeah, very good experience in uh, MS SQL Server and other uh, DBMS products. Uh, yeah, right now, uh, yeah. Communicate through WhatsApp, no need to worry. If any doubts are there, uh, I will, yeah, uh, you can, uh, we can connect through same Zoom. Uh, we can discuss if any doubts are there, no need to worry. Okay. Right. So even I can call from here to your uh, number also, uh, if you have any doubts anything you want to discuss that is no problem why because anyhow we are recording each class okay so you can uh, watch the recordings okay you can uh, yeah practice parallelly if you need doubts are there anything is there you can ping me on the whatsapp fine fine Okay, let's we uh, start with. Uh, generally, say like already I've discussed as part of today's session, we'll see uh, some introduction to uh, database administration. What are our regular activities are there as a DBA? And uh, what are the concepts or what are the contents we are going to cover as part of this course? I think uh, we have shared you already the course content uh, for most of the people. Uh, for any uh, anyone if it is missing, I will share you. I will or I will ask my team to share you again. Okay, on the teams on the same uh, like WhatsApp, right? So basically, remember as a database administrator, it may be like a SQL Server DBA or it may be Oracle DBA. So our job is uh, maintenance, okay? Database and database server maintenance is our job, okay? Just remember, we are not developers, we are not testers, we are maintenance people. Our job is what? Database maintenance. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. So uh, let's we uh, start with. Uh, this remember our major response uh, before going to responsibilities. What we are going to provide here as part of this course, like I will share you daily recorded sessions. Okay. So after the class. Uh, I will upload the session in YouTube. I will share okay, so that you can go through it whenever it is required. In the same way, uh, I will share you the notes, step by step notes, which has both theory plus uh, practical step by step practicals. Okay, then uh, in the same way, I will share you the regularly used FAQs plus uh, scenarios. What are the regular FAQs are there, means which are useful for uh, interview purpose. And the scenarios also I will share you. What are the common scenarios which we are facing in the organization? Regular scenarios. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. So in the same way, like why? Because in the interview, uh, if you are going as an experienced DBA, Mostly they will ask the scenarios, okay? Generally they will not ask uh, like how to install SQL Server. Why? Because uh, yeah, our job is what? Troubleshooting mainly. That's why uh, compulsory we have to work with what? Uh, scenarios. We should know the scenarios. Right. Okay. Uh, in the same way, uh, I will share you uh, uh, nodes, yeah, uh, maybe discuss it. Uh, sample resume I will share you so that 
you can go through that issue. Okay. And you can prepare that issue. Right. Okay. Uh, let's say like a SQL basic generally to work as a SQL server DB. Uh, it is better to have like a, a SQL basics knowledge. SQL basics and Windows knowledge, Windows basics knowledge. So that's why what I will do. Uh, I will share you the SQL and uh, Windows uh, basics knowledge recordings. Okay. So that you can go through those uh, basics knowledge. Okay. So uh, yeah, once you go through those things, uh, not compulsory, but better to have a uh, SQL and Windows basics knowledge. Better, better to have. So why? Because sometimes like our developers uh, uh, in some scenarios, we have to provide guidance to the uh, like developers also. That's why if you have basics knowledge, uh, then it is added advantage for us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. See here like the SQL and uh, Windows basic recordings I will share you. Maybe uh, SQL basics like three, four hours, Windows basics three, four hours. Those recordings are also I will share you as part of our Yes, sorry. Uh, just I'm saying SQL and Windows basics recordings I will share you. Maybe three hours SQL, three, four hours Windows basics so that you can go through those uh, recordings, okay, which are useful for us. Then, so uh, at the end we'll discuss uh, like uh, if you want to, uh, uh, yeah, uh, if you want to like uh, search for the job uh, here in abroad okay so uh, uh, then yeah so then what we can do like it i will try to help you but not 100 uh, percent okay so uh, but opportunities are there here mm, you can try yourself i will tell you just how to uh, yeah yeah, uh, search for jobs here if somebody is interested to come. That is secondary, but uh, primary is our course. Okay, so I'm not saying that uh, if you learn from my side, I will, uh, I will bring to here to Dubai or something. That is false statement. If something is there, I, I can help you. That I can help you. Uh, that is secondary. It is not related to our course. Right. Okay. Uh, these are see, like what we are going to provide here as part of this course. Okay. Yeah. That's why I uh, already have said open. It is always open. Means at any time you can ask the questions. Okay. No need to hurry. No need to worry. So uh, if you are asking questions like uh, uh, I will never ask you back any question. Means you tell this, I will tell that, that will not be there. Every uh, question I will answer. Okay? No need to. Right. Okay. So then say like uh, as a SQL Server Database Administrator, uh, as a DBS here, it, uh, our major responsibilities are the uh, database and uh, database server maintenance. Okay, so our job is maintenance actually. Database and database server maintenance is our job. Okay, yes. So, <clears throat> uh, why? Because once you enter in the organization, already databases are there, database servers are there, right? We have to start uh, maintaining of those servers. Okay, so. Uh, that's uh, maintenance means what like uh, see once the server setup is done it's not meaning that uh, it works lifelong correct right compulsory maintenance is required maintenance is compulsory 
करेक्ट राइट मीन्स वॉट टुमारो यू हैव परचेज सम वेहीकल मेंटेनेंस इज कंपल्सरी राइट या विदाउट मेंटेनेंस लाइक वेहीकल विल नॉट वर्क राइट सो सेम थिंग रिमेम्बर एज ए डी बी ए आवर जॉब इज वॉट मेंटेनेंस वी आर नॉट डेवलपर्स वी आर नॉट टेस्टर्स आवर जॉब इज मेंटेनेंस ओके सेम थिंग लाइक या दस वे रिमेम्बर एज पार्ट ऑफ मेंटेनेंस वर्क विल डू रेगुलरली रेगुलरली वी हैव टू मॉनिटर द सर्वर्स एंड डेटा बेसिस ओके एंड ट्रबल शूट द इश्यूज इफ एनी इश्यूज आर देर वी हैव टू ट्रबल शूट द इश्यूज दट वे रिमेम्बर आवर रेगुलर जॉब इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज वॉट मॉनिटरिंग एंड ट्रबल शूटिंग ओके बट लेट्स ए हंड्रेड सर्वर्स आर देर टू हंड्रेड सर्वर्स आर देर हाउ वी कैन मॉनिटर ट्वेंटी फोर बाई सेवन It is difficult, right? You can't uh, wake up, right? Twenty-four by seven. So even like uh, my colleague is there in the night shift, for example. He can't wake up, right? Some uh, as a human being. So that's why, like, uh, what we'll do here? See, always. Uh, uh, that is the reason what we'll do as a DBA. Uh, will configure the alerts actually alerts okay directly with sql server or directly by using third party tools we can configure the alerts okay so something happened tomorrow like server is down server is restarted okay connections are failing okay so if anything happen like uh, scheduled activities back of fail like log shipping fail mirroring fail always on fail if anything happened remember database is down automatically will get the alert means we can configure email notification as well as uh, we can configure sms also for example so uh, uh, then suppose let's say some issue is there uh, let's say i am in the night shift and the call out okay so i uh, once i get the mail or once i get sms alert then i will connect to the server i will start troubleshooting right so that's one more so what we'll do like we'll configure alerts actually so many types of alerts are there we'll discuss later we'll get some confusion now uh, we'll see in detail later so Means if any issue is there, we'll get the email notification with this alert or SMS. Uh, then connect to that server, okay, and start troubleshoot. So that is the, like how our regular activity is there, our regular job is there. Maybe already some people are working here as a ARC uh, DBA, I think, or some other DBA. Uh, they are already familiar with just uh, it will be refreshment for you why because uh, we'll go from scratch every concept so we'll go from scratch uh, any article dbs are there here you can use the chart panel why because uh, uh, i know article also uh, means like i can tell you comparison this is there in article this is there in sql server Let's see if someone is there. Yeah, otherwise, no need. I think uh, you can use the chart panel. Okay, at the end I will enable audio. Uh, can discuss. But from tomorrow or next class onwards, you can unmute yourself. We can discuss if any simple doubt is there. Clear, right? Yes. Okay. So. We have so many uh, responsibilities are there as a DBA. All we have said mainly our job is what monitoring and troubleshooting. So, what are the major responsibilities are there, sir, as a DBA? Maybe few of the responsibilities. Many may be there. Uh, one is sir installations and configurations. Means what? Whenever a new application is there, whenever a new project is there. we have to make our database server ready correct right yeah we have to make our sql server ready 
for that purpose, uh, we'll start with installations. Okay, we'll install SQL Server. We'll configure SQL Server. Okay, so we'll see that configuration is nothing but uh, making the necessary changes. Configuration is nothing but what? Making necessary changes. We'll discuss that later. Then patching SQL Server. This is one of our regular activities. Patching patches are nothing but remember updates. Like generally we know, right, in Android, iOS, we have patches are there, right? Updates are there, right? Yeah, same thing here also we have patches are there. Microsoft released the patches quarterly. Microsoft released the patches quarterly. So those patches we have to apply frequently. Okay, it is one of a very regular activity. We'll see that in detail how we are doing all these activities in real time. Okay, no need to worry. Step by step, I will show you. Then, next one say like uh, working with the uh, databases means like uh, how to add, adding data files. Okay, log files like how to uh, yeah, shrink the databases, like various uh, activities actually, okay? So how to truncate uh, log files. If the data file or log file is full, how to handle those scenarios? Yeah, all those things uh, uh, we'll see. In the same way, working with the security features. Means what, like, why? Because uh, we have to, once the server is live, generally we have to create uh, logins, okay? Users, we have to grant permissions. If somebody is unable to work with, we have to check for the uh, permissions, okay? Like various things, actually. We have to remove the logins. We have to disable login. If the login is locked, we have to enable the log. Uh, we have to disable the log like that's your different activities okay then in the same way we have to work with uh, backups backups are nothing but remember like uh, it is a copy copy of database why because like tomorrow if something happened like database crash something happened uh, to avoid data loss scenario, compulsory backups must be there, right? That's why remember, backup is a scheduled activity. Means what? Like no need to wake up exactly morning 3 o'clock. No need to take backup manually. Okay? Uh, we'll schedule the backups. It is going on. Okay? Suppose let's say yesterday night backup fail, for example. Okay, yesterday night backup fail. Then we have to troubleshoot why the backup fail. Maybe space issue or what was the other issues. Okay, this is here like uh, sometimes like uh, see generally in production we are scheduling the backup sometimes like manually also we'll take backup like before like upgrading okay so sometimes application team wants to upgrade the application server uh, they will say first take database backup then they will upgrade for safe side uh, in general before deploying some script some additional script uh, generally, our application team will ask us to take backup, then they will deploy the script like that. See, okay, that's why by default scheduled backups are there. Manually, uh, manual backups also will take. Manually, also will take backups in some scenarios. We'll see that in detail. Uh, in the same way, like. Uh, uh, working with automation. Already have said, right? As a DBA, remember, 90% tasks are automated. Okay? Yes. 
So only 10 to 15 percent activities we are doing manually. Okay, like uh, we have discussed right already, backups are automated. Like uh, index maintenance activities are active, uh, yeah, automated. Like something like uh, data, I will say here database maintenance activities. So later we'll see what are those uh, activities, okay? Uh, various activities are there. Some confusion may be there. I'm not going in detail. Later we'll see in detail. In the same way, we have to work with uh, high availability or disaster recovery uh, features. Okay. High availability and disaster recovery features. Uh, what it's meaning? <clears throat> Suppose here, like uh, tomorrow, uh, let's say my production servers are there here uh, in Mumbai, for example. See, one data center is there in Mumbai, for example. Okay, uh, unexpectedly, uh, some server was down, server crash. Some server is there here, production server, for example, where the applications are connected. So, uh, unexpectedly, server is crash, which disk fail or network fail, or any reason may be there, for example. or some power issue is there. Not uh, regular cases, exceptional cases actually. Okay. Yeah. So suppose let's say this is my um, application is there like a phone pay application. Uh, phone pay application server. This is actually we have multiple servers for that just for just with easy understanding. Okay, so yeah, so uh, you see a uh, uh, phone pay is connecting to my database server, which is there in Mumbai. Unexpectedly, server down means phone pay will not work, for example. Right? Why? Because single server is there. Server down, then application will not work. <clears throat> uh, then how much uh, business loss to the client, right? <clears throat> That's why to avoid that, uh, means once the server down, application is down, there is a business loss to the client. To avoid this problem, uh, we have to go with uh, high availability features, okay? So means what I will do, I will maintain as it is copy of database in different location, for example, uh, Hyderabad location, for example, one more data center here. So here see, like same server I am maintaining here, same copy of database I am maintaining here. Means what? Whatever the changes are going on here in Mumbai data center server, same changes are parallelly updated here. For example, automatically with the help of this uh, high availability features or disaster recovery feature. Means basically remember what is the purpose of this HARDR. We'll see some differences there between these two terms again later. Uh, just remember, this high availability feature allows to maintain a standby database, standby server. <clears throat> Got it, right? So again, why we are maintaining standby server or standby database? Why? Because in the event of production server crash or database crash or network, some issue is there, then immediately our application will start working with this server. Okay, this application will start connecting with this server automatically. So that's very much to avoid the data, uh, to avoid the downtime scenario. To avoid the downtime scenario, 
we are going with uh, high availability features or disaster recovery feature. Clear, right? Right, right. Yeah, so uh, uh, got it right. I think uh, we are on the same page following, right? Yeah, delete. No, guarantee, Vijay. Yeah, thank you, Vijay. Siddharth, other people, Pavan. Is clear? Yeah, thank you, Siddharth. See, there one chart option is there. Just for, by because I should know, right, whether we are following or not. If any confusion is there, I have to understand, right? So, uh, just for communication purpose. Yeah, delete. Thank you very much. Shake. Power. Log ready. Just see the chart option is there. Or just click on my name. I think chart option may be there. Yeah, yeah. standby server means secondary server. Correct. This one. Okay. Why? Because like uh, actually we can maintain here one secondary. Here also one secondary. Later we will see. Just basically it is a, uh, yeah, this is our production server, which is our main server currently with which application is working. This is our secondary server or standby server. Yeah, for example, if this main server or production is down, the application will continue working with this server. Okay. Right, right. Okay, so let's we continue. Uh, actually, we have HA and DR. HA feature is there to minimize the downtime. DR features are there to avoid the data loss scenario. I will discuss that uh, later again in detail. Uh, basically, here, see, like in SQL Server, we have so many options are there here. Like, uh, uh, means what? Uh, to maintain same copy of database in different data center or same data center also uh, we have different high availability features are there means we are using high availability features okay like uh, we have in sql server we have different high availability features are there log shipping okay database mirroring always on okay db mirroring was introduced in 2005 version always on was introduced in 2012 version like that said so many changes are there right now we are working with uh, always on okay mostly remember uh, in 80 percent set servers are there with always on setup 80% servers are there with always on setup today in the organization. That's why compulsory we have to work with always on today. Compulsory. Okay. In real time. Okay. Right. In the same way, uh, we have to work with the uh, yeah, performance related uh, things. We have to uh, performance uh, tuning related activities also we have to handle uh, like uh, deployment so many things are there so many activities are there okay. deployment so many things okay. so many activities are there uh, which we are doing in real time one
ये सभी भी गठबंधन गठबंधन का अल्पम माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्चुअली एक्चुअली वे रेज सेवन के स्मिथ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट बट दे अनेबल टू प्रोवाइड अ सॉल्यूशन अभी आई डबल शूटेड दैट प्रॉब्लम या राइट ये सॉरी फॉर दैट लेट्स वी कंटिन्यू या डिप्लोमेंट्स आर नथिंग बट यू नो अप्लाइंग द चेंजेस अप्लाइंग द चेंजेस ओके डिप्लोमेंट्स आर बेसिकली वर्क अप्लाइंग द चेंजेस ओके राइट yeah so means what like what type of changes like the production uh, 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 production dba like uh, means like they will our application team developers team what they will do or vendor they will do the changes in non production environment later they will ask us to deploy in the production environment okay so those are called your deployments uh yeah uh, uh find them like uh, yeah uh let's see what we'll do like these are the various responsibilities are there as a dba but some some more may be there like handling the projects and uh, communicating with vendors various things okay uh let's see what we'll do briefly we'll start with uh, uh sql server microsoft the sql server just i will discuss very briefly today we'll continue in the tomorrow session already we know right sql server is one of a uh, rdbm based product sql server is a one of a rdbm based product uh, which is uh, uh, developed by microsoft correct right yeah so we know that uh, so many rdbms products are there in the market so many rdbms products are there in the market so uh, like uh, oracle is there right that is also one of a powerful rdbms product okay like sql server mysql postgresql maria db yuga byte so many are there in the market but uh, if you see uh, in almost all every organization uh, uh, what vendors or clients or customers are using what sql server okay right so that's when the like uh, uh, microsoft sql server is a uh, rdbms product developed by microsoft already we know that just uh, for uh yeah so we have like uh, actually it was released in the year 1988 or 89 uh but uh, we have different uh, versions are there so many uh different versions are there uh, uh check here our latest version is the current version is the sql server 2020 okay our latest version uh let's see we have started using 2022 for different uh, projects uh before that we have sql server 2019 okay then sql server 2017 like various versions are there 2016 like that 2014 2012 like that so that's why tomorrow once you enter in the organization remember you have to work with 16 17 19 20 20. why because for 2016 still support is there from microsoft that's why still uh, for some of the applications we are using what 2016 version okay sql server 2016 version fine okay so uh yeah so let me just here just uh, as a dba uh, to connect and work with the sql server uh, we'll we are using one tool called ssms okay sql server management studio anyhow i will show you uh, in the tomorrow's class how to install ssms how to work with the uh, yes, uh, sql server
Okay, how to install, I will show you so that you can start practicing. Okay, right. Uh, yeah, uh, 2014 means see, in the organizations people are using, but actually Microsoft is saying to upgrade to the higher versions because uh, if any bug or any issue there, Microsoft will not provide any support as well as Microsoft is not providing patches to this uh, 2014 and lower versions. So I'm not saying that uh, the companies are not using 2014, still they are using, but for non-critical applications, okay? So where there is no sec security is not concerned, or some uh, they are continuing still, but not best practice, okay? Right. Yeah, let me connect actually. See, I already have installed SQL Server Management Studio here in my machine. And I already have said tomorrow I will show you how to install. No need to worry. So by using say, SQL Server Management Studio, uh, we can connect to SQL Server. We can start working with the SQL Server. Okay. Right, check it. Uh, I will connect to SQL Server. Yeah, maybe it is taking time. Means uh, SQL Server is not running, maybe not running. This I will discuss this, no need to worry. How I am troubleshooting. Mm -hmm. This is red icon is there, means SQL Server is down. Yeah, okay. Let me connect again. Connect again. Yeah, uh, check it like one of the, uh, see, uh, uh, it is very easy to learn and work with SQL Server. Why? Because mostly we'll work with graphically. Okay, directly by right clicking, we can do the activities. No need to perform through command. Command is also another option. Through command also, we can perform that. Okay. Yeah, so this is the Right. So uh, check it like, uh, 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 yeah. Uh, see it. Now uh, check it. This is uh, SQL Server 16.0 version. 16.0 version is a 2019 version. <clears throat> 2019 version. Uh, sorry. 16.0 means 2022 version, 15.0 means 2019. Check here, we can check also, no need to by heart. Select at the rate, at the rate version. Okay. Select at the rate, at the rate version. Uh, see here, it is showing SQL Server 22 version. Okay. Right. Yeah, like that said, by using simple command, we can verify, we can validate, we are working with which version, SQL Server, which version. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. So then, <clears throat> uh, next one, sir, like uh, uh, after that, uh, we can check, sir, what is the server name? Select that. Uh, simple commands are there. We can check by using this simple, uh, sorry, simple commands here. What is the server? That's why uh, graphically we can check actually by using the commands also we can work with. That's why remember in real time some lengthy commands are there like uh, huge uh, like 10 lines, 20 lines command is there. We can't by heart, right? We can't remember. That's why we'll uh, store those commands in the file, script file. Uh, I, will have, I will share you that uh, script file uh, later. Uh, 
commonly used scripts or DBA scripts are there. I will share you those uh, uh, scripts. All these are scripts are there. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think it is there in the cloud type. It is not connected to see. No problem. So we'll see. I will share you these uh, uh, scripts. Okay. So that. Uh, uh, yeah, you can go through those uh, scripts. You can use it in real time. Actually, it is a cloud drive. I think it is not connected. You see, okay, no problem. We'll see later. So, like that, say, like the regularly used scripts are there for monitoring purpose. Uh, we can use this script just to open the script. Okay, uh, modify and if any changes are required, just run the script. They yeah, always sound related, like backups related, security related. Okay. Yes. Those are very useful for us. One, two lines commands we can remember, right? But lengthy commands we can't remember. That's why we have to work with the scripts. Right. Uh, if I want to see, uh, we can create the databases directly by right clicking here. Okay. Uh, we can uh, work with logins. Okay, we can work with always on. Uh, we can schedule the jobs here. Generally, to automate the tasks, remember, in real time, we'll use the jobs. Okay, so that we can set the timing. Automatically, uh, the job will run. So it will run some commands, like backup command, any command. Right, okay. Uh, and see, generally, uh, SQL Server supports here, like uh, 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 SQL Server supports uh, uh, both uh, uh, SQL, which is a structured query language. Uh, we know, right, like uh, most of the DBMS, all the DBMS products supports what SQL, structured query language. Uh, uh, where it supports what? Commands, SQL commands, basically. Commands, like select, update, delete, something we know already, right? Structure query language. As well as our developers, uh, not, we are not writing, actually, our developers will write the programs, actually, with the help of T-SQL. Transact structured query language. Means what? Our developers will write like stored procedures, okay, functions, triggers, everything. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, those are say, like, uh, uh, yeah. So that's why remember SQL Server support SQL plus TSQL. In Oracle, we have PLSQL, right? So here we have TSQL. Transact structured query language. Okay. Right. Last point we'll see, we'll continue tomorrow. Uh, SQL Server uh, supports uh, uh, three types of working environments. Okay. Three types of working environments. Uh, one is say, like a standalone environment, is it, which is for small scale applications small scale applications where we are maintaining single production server okay actually just i'm uh, listing here but tomorrow we'll discuss uh, in detail okay mm -hmm. then just now we have discussed like always on setup is it with always on setup what we can do we can maintain uh, standby servers Okay, one or more standby server. Why? Because tomorrow, uh, if production server crash or primary server crash, uh, we can ask the applications to work with standby servers. Okay, so that's why remember, uh, compulsory remember for uh, high availability and disaster recovery, we have to use this uh, always on setup. The same way we have SQL cluster setup is also there. Uh, we'll talk about these three again in detail in the tomorrow's class. That's why tomorrow, remember, once you enter in the organization, 
we have to work with uh, these three types of diagrams. Uh, in general, remember, whenever you enter in the company, they will share you the uh, server catalog. Catalog. In that, you can see some servers are standalone, some are with RBS, some are with cluster. But uh, here, if you see in general, I'm not seeing in every organization, 70 to 75 percent uh, will have always on setup in the organizations. Uh, uh, Five percent, maybe approximately, will have cluster setup, and remaining uh, 20, uh, 20, 15 to 20 percent will have a uh, standalone end. We will have this more, we can understand more always on end. That's why we have to work with compulsory, we have to work with always on setup. Compulsory. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, let's we conclude the session here. Just as part of today's session, we have discussed what we are going to provide as part of the training. As well as what are our major responsibilities are there. Maybe some of these uh, Maybe you have not understood, no problem. Anyhow, we'll discuss that later. After that, we have started with the SQL server. Okay, right. So uh, just remember this from here, we'll uh, continue again in the tomorrow's session. I will discuss something more in detail about these three environments. Then uh, I will show you how to install SQL Server in your machine. So that just you can start practicing. Means first I will show you basic installation. Okay. Later I will show you uh, real time installation. Okay. How we are doing installation in real time. First I will show you basic installation so that you can start practice. Later we'll see real time installation. Okay. Right.